Hello beautiful women, Prue Blenhassett here, leading intuitive business strategist and women's transformation catalyst. I hope you are doing so well. I just wanted to drop in and have a chat about imposter syndrome. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this has been something that's been coming into um, coming up with some of my clients recently and I just um, you know it's something that I wanted to, to share and have a chat about. Hey Stacy, how are you beautiful? Um, so you know there's this this sense that can come up and it can come up at different stages of the journey I find and it can be something that comes up just as women are about to make their next kind of breakthrough um, can be this feeling of you know feeling like a fraud or like um, you know what you have to offer somehow isn't good enough or like um, you know this fear that people will finally uncover that you know you're really an imposter kind of thing and I see this in women all the time and it can be something that can be really um, you know can really stop them in their tracks so you know let's let's talk about it and let's let's see you know a really great way to overcome it and to get past it and move through and be able to keep keep moving and continue on our path so <clears throat> um, now some of this is actually in our makeup so I have um, come across some studies read some recently that share that men will go for a job if they have um, you know if they have experience in 40 to 50 percent of the criteria of that job and women on the other hand will only go for the job if they have experience in 80 to 90 percent of the criteria so there's a massive difference in the intrinsic nature of what we feel comfortable in terms of you know our level of expertise and what we're willing to put forward and how we're willing to to share ourselves and move forward in the world so it really demonstrates that, you know, as women, we feel like we have to have it all together. There's this sense that we feel like we have to be in some ways perfect before we feel confident and comfortable and ready to put ourselves out there, to share ourselves with the world, to share our important message. And this has got to change. So what's underneath this imposter syndrome, this, you know, this fear, this not good enough, self-doubt, right? And self-doubt is an incredible opportunity and an incredible invitation because if we can turn self-doubt into self-belief, if we can turn ourselves from being one of our biggest critics into being one of our greatest cheerleaders, then man, you are woman, you are set, you know, like this is really, really crucial. So self-doubt can be a vicious cycle, you know, it can be something that starts as this this tiny spark of this tiny kind of, oh, I'm not sure about that. And it can blow into a big blow out of proportion into something bigger and bigger and expand into you know some kind of monster so it's really a matter of you know going through a bit of a sacred process to um, to really get it under wraps and we can do that quite easily so to begin with the first action to take is recognition so just saying to yourself, okay, I'm feeling some self-doubt at the moment. So recognizing with love and compassion and, you know, saying, and that's okay. You know, it's okay that I'm feeling that. So then moving on to step number two, which is separating the feeling from the fact. So if we're feeling self-doubt, that's okay. What are the facts? What are the actual facts about this situation? So, hang on, I've just got a call coming through. <laughs> so what are the facts? So the facts are that you have decades of experience. 
you have a lifetime of experience that brings you great wisdom that you can share with others. You likely have training in your specific area of expertise, you have clients that you've worked with, you have most likely created incredible transformations for these clients and so you have all of these wonderful skills, talents and abilities. So there may be more facts to that situation that you can tap into to really support you to be able to separate the feelings from the facts. The feeling of feeling like an imposter, feeling not good enough, of feeling self-doubt from the facts of what you are actually capable of and what you can actually bring as a service, as a divine service to your clients, right? So step one was recognition, recognizing the feeling. I'm feeling self-doubt and that's okay. Number two, separating the feelings from the facts. Number three, understanding that each failure or each mistake that we make is actually a doorway to greater success and giving yourself the invitation and the permission to take imperfect action. Yeah, permission to take imperfect action because this is how you move forward. This is how we move forward as women and how we elevate and how we escalate to our next level of self-mastery, how we move into our highest potential and how we continue to exist on the edge of that highest potential. We naturally have an instinct and a desire to be perfect. So if we can allow ourselves, give ourselves divine permission to take imperfect action, then we are opening up the doorways for us to elevate in our sacred work, to escalate in our self-mastery, to really move above and beyond what would otherwise be possible for us in our lives, in our sacred work, even in our relationships, in every area, you know? So that's really what I wanted to share today. Um, I would love to hear about anyone else's experience with imposter syndrome. Is this something that you've, um, you're familiar with? Is it something that you've you know, managed to overcome? My experience with um, my clients is that it's something that kind of comes and goes and ebbs and flows. Uh, and that's cool. You know, this is a process, this process of doing our sacred work, of um, being committed to our own self-mastery is one of, you know, essentially being our own best friend, being our own cheerleader, being in such deep and unwavering and honoring relationship with ourselves that we can support ourselves to continue to move forward in an amazing way. So I wanted to share that with you today and I'm sending you so much love. I have, we've just started in CEO Priestess Academy and it's absolutely amazing. The women are incredible. I feel so incredibly blessed and I'm so excited to see what comes through for each of these incredible women. Oh my God, I just can't can't tell you. Now I have one one-to-one -one spot coming up in a couple of weeks time uh, so I'm going to be taking some calls over the next couple of weeks just to um, feel into who I might want to work with. So if you are ready to take your sacred work absolutely to the next level and to move beyond any doubt, any fear and to package your brilliance in a way that really is going to support your clients at the deepest level and provide you with incredible income, then I invite you to book a call with me at ceopriestesschat.com and together we will map out an incredible strategy for you and there's no pushy sales whatsoever, no, no, um, no pressure to work with me, you can just jump on a call and we can see what is, uh, you know, map out what is ahead for you in the future and see, um, see how that might sit for you. 
So I'm sending you so much love and a beautiful day. Mwah.